Hey, what's going on guys? It's Swordaz here. So this is the next part in the series where I talk about how to improve your aim. Before I get too heavy into sensitivity, I want to switch gears and talk about field of view. You know, the famous fisheye lens or the claustrophobic view of not being able to see anything. Why does this matter and how will this help improve your aim? The answer is almost neither. A lower or higher will help you 100% the way you want it to. Field of view is how much you see, and each game handles this differently or how they categorize it. Some may actually list this under vertical field of view or horizontal and so forth. So just because you put the setting to a certain number does not mean it'll be the same in another game. You must remember to check if it's vertical or horizontal, and that in a sense can affect your sensitivity. Remember how I mentioned consistency and how you set up your game is important, right? Well, it is vital in how it affects how you shoot. I'm sure the next question is, how does this affect sensitivity? Well, it does and doesn't. And more so how you see objects of how they will appear moving faster or not. It's kind of like looking into a rear view mirror of a car of some objects may appear closer than what they appear. If you match your sensitivity per 360 from your hip fire versus your zoom scope, you may feel like you're moving super fast through objects. So to counter this, some opt to have their hip fire sensitivity match their scope so it does not zip by so fast. Field of view, to sum up again, is what you can see. When you grab a sniper scope, it is just a changing the FOV to a tighter shot from your hip fire, then simply adding a nice PNG file that has a set of crosshairs on it. This is really the most simplistic way to look at field of view, and it really puts into perspective what field of view does. Remember, just because a game claims that it is a 2x does not mean it shares the same FOV of another game that is a 2x on it. This is up to the developer to decide in the game engine what the FOV is set to. Remember the FOV you set will affect all your magnifications, the less the game has a setting where you can disable FOV to affect this and just set it at a base. An example, when you change your FOV on Apex, it will affect all zooms of every gun. It's essentially a multiplier. It's kind of interesting, right? So let's discuss the pros and cons of a low FOV and a high FOV and how it will affect your aim. First, let's start with low field of view. You have a tight view, meaning you can see less around you. It'll make objects or targets appear much faster, and objects will appear larger so you can really see what you shoot. You will feel like you're moving a lot slower as well. Now for a high FOV, it's the exact opposite of effect. You can see much more around you. It'll make targets appear much slower, and objects will be really small, making for micro adjustments in your aim less visible. You feel like you're moving at breaking speed limits with the speed you think you have, but you're really not moving faster. It's just the fisheye lens effect. So what is the right FOV for you or field of view? Well, that depends. The questions you should ask yourself is, can you see the target? Do you feel comfortable with what you see or not see? Is the target moving too fast or too slow? The best answer is to find your comfort level. And now that you have this much better understanding is to really dig deep and go into a test area or empty map, aim, run around, and see what feels comfortable for you. All pros utilize a different field of view, and there's not a one size fits all. I see some pros go super high, and I question how they can really see anything, and vice versa of feeling extremely claustrophobic. How do they know where people are if they can't really see anything? Personally, I sit around a 90 degrees FOV, which is pretty standard. I used to be a much higher, and I used to think that was much better for me, but my aim improved after stop being so stubborn on what I thought was better for me until I switched and just dropped it a tad. So just because somebody else uses a field of view does not mean that it's best for you. Remember this not to be too flashy with your field of view and you wanting to people think you're moving super fast with your gameplay. What's the point if you can't land a shot? And do not go too low to compensate for needing to hit targets. I mean, how can you hit what you can't see? The unfortunate part again with FOV is that there's no right or wrong. Which is why I'm making this video just to explain FOV so you can make a better informed decision on what you should do because understanding is really the key to finding your comfort level. I hope you found this video helpful. Did I leave anything out? Do you have follow-up questions? If so, hit me up in the comments and I can also do a follow-up video based on the discussions down below. Really appreciate you watching and I hope I helped you find your magic FOV setting specific for you. Be sure to subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time.